Sports presents News 18 Rising Bharat Summit. News 18 Rising Bharat. Jod dekhor pratham montri angko krohan kori bo. Aro matro kete ban muhurto dekhor pratham montri Narendra Modi ahi uposit hobo. Aro tar basote News 18 Rising Bharat aur pratham montri bhakti bhakti kuni kuni papa. Kun pore ekham prosa. And he's joining us here at the Rising Bharat Summit. Prime Shri Rahul Joshi to welcome the Honorable Prime Minister. Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to thank the Prime Minister for taking time out from his punishing schedule to be with us. Please give him a round of applause. We are, we are indeed very, very grateful. Sir, five years ago on February 25th, 2019, at Rising India Summit, I had quoted Bismil Sahab in your presence in the context of the Pulwama attack. Sir Faroshi ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai. Soon after my welcome address, you delivered your powerful keynote without betraying anything going on in your mind. And next morning, February 26th, we all woke up to the big news of India's attack on Balakot in Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, in many ways, it was the big turning point under PM Modi's leadership towards the end of his first term. The message was as loud as it was clear. Don't mess with a strong, resurgent, confident, muscular India. And of course, don't mess with Modi. Prime Minister, that was 2019. Fast forward five years to January 22nd, 2024. I would say the other big turning point came on the day of Pran Pratishtha in Ayodhya, to which I was witness, a day that will go down in history as a major milestone in the life of Bharat. As I drove down the same evening from Ayodhya to Prayagraj to visit my mother, I could see amidst the celebrations and the bursting of crackers, the rise of a new India. As I passed through Gonda, Sultanpur and Pratapgarh in Uttar Pradesh, I could see in people renewed hope, renewed energy, renewed confidence. In many ways, the civilizational and cultural resurgence of India is finally taking wing. A Bharat that is not only soaring, but doing so while remaining firmly rooted in its cultural moorings. Agar isi baat ko mein aapke shabdo mein kahun, to yeh pran patishtha ka samay sirf vijay ka nahi, vene ka tha. Ram aag nahi, urja hai. Vivad nahi, samadhan hai. Vartman hi nahi, anant kaal hai. Pradhan Mantri ji, 22 January ke din, aapne hamari patishtha mein <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the last 10 years in tangible terms have been marked by rising GDP and galloping stock markets. It has also been marked by efficient welfareism through direct benefit transfers while building an unprecedented scale of physical and digital infrastructure. Prime Minister Modi's biggest contribution is not only to take the Indian economy from the fragile five to the fabulous five. His, his biggest contribution is to instill in every Indian a strong sense of self-esteem and a firm belief that India is finally getting its rightful place at the global high table of powerful nations. Today, 
our chest fills with pride that the Indian passport has gained in respect and stature. We bleed blue in every way. Finally, finally, with your permission, Prime Minister, I would like to crystal gaze into the future. What would it be like, same time, 2029? I believe India will lead for global good, the theme of our Rising Bharat Summit this year. The next five years will mark a further acceleration of our journey towards a Vixit Bharat, one that will find its place in the top three economies of the world. Once again, it is not so much about adding trillions to the GDP, but the rise and rise of India's stature globally. At the G20, you've shown that you are a bridge builder in a divided world. The New Delhi Declaration is a clear demonstration of your influence and relationship with global leaders. Ram willing, India will soon have a permanent seat at the UN. With the rapid strides the country is taking, we'll see an acceleration in reverse brain drain into the country. Global companies will soon have headquarters in Mumbai and Bangalore, while Indian conglomerates will take a bite of the Big Apple. Modiji, all this has been possible because you think different, you think big, but you execute bigger. Your approval ratings show you're the most popular leader in the world. To Indians here and around the world, you are also by far the tallest. To end, on, to end on a high note before your keynote, I would like to quote these powerful lines from Sacha Bharat by Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. Vratha matlo Bharat ka naam Vratha matlo Bharat ka naam Bharat ek swapna bhu ko upar le jane wala Bharat ek vichar swarg ko bhu par lane wala Bharat ek bhav jisko paakar manushya jagta hai Bharat ek jalaj jiska jal ka na daag lagta hai Ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for the man of the moment Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Namaskar. अभी वैसे राहुल ने बड़ा वर्णन किया पांच साल पहले मैं जब आया था और शायद उस समीट की तारीख या घटना आपके ग्रुप को तो याद रहना बहुत स्वाभाविक है लेकिन शायद पत्रकार मन ये भी सोच सकता था और शायद सोचा होगा लेकिन बोलते नहीं होंगे कि क्या कारण होगा कि एक इंसान अपने कमिटमेंट के कारण इस समिट में इतने ही शांत मन से आया था और उसी समय वो किसी प्रक्रिया को दौड़ा रहा था और जो दूसरे दिन सुबह दुनिया के लिए बहुत बड़ी खबर बन गई थी और मैं मानता हूं जरूर आप लोग इसका एनालिसिस करेंगे और शायद वो 28 फरवरी थी 2019 और माहौल तो ऐसा ही था और मैं भी बहुत शांति से आप सबसे नमस्ते नमस्ते करके निकला था और भारत ने बालाकोट में एयर स्ट्राइक की थी रात को और वो एक दिन था और एक दिन आज है और आपने देखा होगा कि आतंक के सरगना हो या विकास और शांति की चाहत रखने वाले देश हो सब ने 
राइजिंग भारत अनुभव किया है ये नया भारत आतंक के जख्म को नहीं सहता है बल्कि आतंक के जख्म देने वालों को पूरी ताकत से सबक भी सिखाता है जो हमें आतंकी हमलों के जख्म देते थे उनकी क्या हालत है ये देशवासी भी देख रहे हैं और दुनिया भी देख रही है एक सुरक्षित राष्ट्र ही एक विकसित राष्ट्र का आधार होता है और आज यही भारत की पहचान है और यही राइजिंग भारत 